having originally provided the relatively inexperienced Jody and Depaye with cars deliberately designed to be easy to drive, Ken Tyrrell opted to go in exactly the opposite direction in 1976 with a unique and revolutionary design concept that would seriously test his driver's adaptability. In response to new FIA regulations, Tyrrell's chief designer, Derek Gardner, had gone back to the drawing board. Starting with the idea of smaller 10-inch diameter wheels at the front as a means of reducing drag, Gardner then faced the problem that smaller tyres would mean less rubber on the track and hence less grip for cornering. The answer that he and his team eventually came up with was to compensate for this lack of grip by simply adding an extra set of wheels. The result was the most radically different looking car ever to take part in Formula One racing. When unveiled before the world's motorsport press, it predictably drew gasps of amazement. No wonder then that Jody looked a little apprehensive as the first of the Tyrrell P34s was wheeled out of the workshop and he squeezed himself into the cockpit before easing out onto the circuit at Silverstone for an initial test run. It wasn't just the look of the thing that was so different. The ride and the feel was also quite strange compared with anything that he'd driven before. And yet he and Depaye had only a few weeks in which to familiarise themselves with the cars before they made their eagerly awaited race debut early in the 1976 season. It was at the Belgian Grand Prix in Zolder that Jody got his first taste of race action in the P34. A car is faster, the narrower it is, the faster it becomes. Uh, so we made it narrow and then we had to put uh, four wheels on the front to make up for the narrowness because it's also got to be wide to go around the corners. And you want to, we're trying to get both worlds fast down the straight and fast around the corners, so we had to put six wheels on the car. Yes, you can't see the wheels. With a normal four-wheeler, you can see, see the wheels out. It's very funny, I, I, I always explain it like sitting on a roller skate because the, the front back wheels, the second pair of front wheels, is right underneath you. It's like sitting on a roller skate and, and turning it. But uh, I soon got used to that and, and, and the narrowness of the front I had to get used to as well. Now. Well, it should be more efficient. It's got six brakes instead of a normal four. It's got more rubber on the road than, than a normal car. But until you get this refined, uh, a normal four-wheeler car, you get good ones and bad ones. And until we get this six-wheeler car really refined, we're not going to see the advantages that we should see.